So it is really hot in California right now. It's, it's this weird kind of gloomy, overcast kind of vibe going on. So it's hot and it's humid and there's no wind. So it's gross. I feel disgusting. So <laughs> I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to try out something I've been wanting to try out for a while, but the no makeup makeup look. Uh, because anyone who has seen those memes on, you know, TikTok or Instagram, where it's like, what guys think is the natural look versus what girls think is the natural look. And, you know, you see in the girl version, there's like a bunch of makeup that's been applied. Um, that's really how it is, right? This is what I look like with no makeup. This is just the no makeup look, period. But I wanted to still look good <laughs> without looking heavy. So natural, uh, which is a little bit of something that I don't do a lot. I like color. I like color on my eyes, but with the no makeup makeup look, it, there's really not going to be anything on my eyes. So we're going to see how this turns out. Again, this isn't something that I normally do, so I'm kind of excited to try something different, but I have some stuff here that I think would be really good for a no makeup makeup look and let's just put it on. So you are seeing the before picture and now we are going to get into how to get to the after, which isn't done yet, but you get it, you get it. By the way, if you're new here, hi, I'm Lauren. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am excited to put on makeup and film it. So thank you for joining me. Um, yeah, let's just get into this. So first what I always do, right, especially when it's this hot and I'm planning on going outside is I've already prepped my skin. So I've done some moisturizer, I've done some vitamin C and I put on my super goop glow screen SPF because what is the key to younger skin? It is using your SPF daily. Uh, I mean, that's what I've been told. I believe it. I believe it. Okay. So <laughs> first what we're going to do is we are going to put some primer on the skin. And again, this look is all about the skin, right? So you want to be sure you're giving it your A game. So I am using the Dior Backstage Face and Body Primer. And yes, this is a tiny little mini bottle. Uh, I think this is one of the deluxe samples that I got in one of my Sephora orders at one point. It <laughs> kind of sucks. The applicator is this little plastic thingy. But we're gonna just kind of smear this on. This isn't a look that I normally do because I really am all about the eye makeup. <laughs> absolutely love doing eye looks so doing pretty much nothing on my eye is going to be difficult and we're gonna see if it even looks good like who knows it this might like just be a big mistake but we're in it together okay I'm also using a new makeup sponge I don't I have no idea what brand it's from. It's not, uh, it's not Beauty Blender, but it's so puffy and it's so cute and it's purple. It's already got kitty hair on it. Oh, love it. Okay, so next we're gonna dry down that primer just a little bit. This is when having a mini fan really comes in handy, but I do not have a mini fan. <laughs> um, so one product that I am really, really loving lately is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now I have mine in the color two light and I, when I first tried this product, your girl used it as a primer. So I put it all over my face. Do not do that. It looks terrible. It highlights all of your pores and all of your fine lines. And again, if you're curious, I'm in my mid thirties and I don't want to highlight those things. I really don't, but dabbing it, all over the face and then dabbing your foundation along with it uh, it's just perfect it gives your skin such an amazing glow it's very luminescent it's very dewy oh god I'm kind of obsessed it's so good thank you Charlotte Tilbury um okay so next what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going in with the Dior backstage body and uh, hang on face and body foundation I knew I knew that and I have mine in the color 1.5 n let me let the cat out. So what I do when I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter is I'll just pour a bunch on my beauty blender and then I will dab it all over my face, kind of like what I did with the Flawless Filter. So 
lots of good dabs. And then I'll just start blending the two together. And because I haven't done my eyes, I'm going to be sure to get my eyes as well. And I just think this creates such a beautiful glow. My girl is looking a little bit shiny, but very natural, just what we want. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a little more of the Dior foundation. Okay, I'm so excited, this bottle's almost gone. I've been trying to use it quite a bit lately so that I can add it to my finished products video for the end of the year because I never finish a foundation, like ever. And this really is one of my favorite foundations, so I'm gonna have to buy another one. <laughs> but still, you know, finish one. Okay, I'm going to put a little more on my beauty blender, a little more of the foundation, and I'm just going to take it down to the neck because you don't want a different color face than your neck. And this is actually a really good match for my skin tone, so I'm not really worried, but you know, never be too careful. <laughs> we have glowy skin I love it now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to go in with a little bit of concealer I will be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, what is this magic touch concealer I have mine in shade 3 this thing is massive I kind of wish they had made a smaller version like a, I don't know like a mini size and cuz I'm never gonna finish that so just doing some concealer around the eyes. I'm going to go up and do a little bit on my eye as well. I tend to get oily lids, which is why I really like always putting an eyeshadow on it because it helps with the oil. It's the only place I have oil. It's on my lids and it's, it just gets so gross sometimes. So putting a little bit of concealer on there will kind of help keep any sort of weird oiliness away from my lids for the day, hopefully, because that's normally what eyeshadow does. Okay, so I have put on quite a bit of concealer. Again, like for your no makeup makeup look, <laughs> we're obviously using quite a bit of makeup. But you want your skin to be looking absolutely flawless, right? Because that's what people are going to be paying attention to now. And I have some redness in my nose. So try to cover that up. It normally just does not like to be covered up. Um, and I'm too lazy to really go the full mile. And use like a color corrector and stuff. But you can definitely do that if you have one. Okay, we're getting the eyes. Make sure those look good. Okay, we're all blended. <gasps> okay, next I wanna make sure I'm setting my T-zone. So I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Setting Powder in Lavender. I've really been enjoying this quite a bit. Just gonna dunk my brush in a little bit of it. Tap it so it doesn't get all over my black dress. And go in. I'm going to set my eyes to, again, to prevent any oil from building up throughout the day. Okay, got a little bit of powder on there, nothing too crazy. So next, the bronzer that I'm going to be using is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the color light. And I have really been enjoying this quite a bit. And one thing that I love about it is that it is not too bronzy. So it's a little more cool toned than a lot of the bronzers out there. And I'm going to put that in the bottom of my cheek. So I'm still warming up my face without overly bronzing. So, you know, there are some bronzers that have like shimmers in them. And I would say that would not work for this look. But I think this one gives just enough to help bring the face a little more 
make it a little more alive, right? Because again, what we're trying to do is we are accenting the skin as much as possible and doing kind of like a flawless skin sort of look. Okay, so what I'm also gonna do for this look, normally I'd go in with a couple layers of the Makeup by Mario, but in this case, because I am trying to do a much lighter look, I'm only gonna go in once. Give a little bit of color, but again, not too much. What I also wanna do is I'm gonna bring out my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Stick in the color Shadow. And I'm gonna do a little bit of contour. And you can totally see the difference between a contour stick and a bronzer because the contour stick is going on, it looks a little gray, right? But that's exactly what it's supposed to do. So it's supposed to go in the shadows of your face to kind of define your cheekbones a little bit more or wherever you wanna put it. While with a bronzer, what you wanna do is you wanna put it on where the sun hits your cheeks because that would be bronzing up your face, right? That totally makes sense. Now, I am not the best at placement. I feel like it's always kind of a work in progress, right? I'm always a work in progress. Um, <laughs> but I watched a video, um, who was it? I think it's Rose's Makeup World. Yeah, so from Rose and Ben, that was her original channel, but I think she has her own now, or she just changed the name. She could have just changed the name. Um, <laughs> but She's fabulous. She has given me so many great tips. So one thing she says is if you put your brush up here and then go down, that's where the bottom of your cheekbone is. That's where you want to put contour. And I don't want to blend it out too much. Again, it's probably pretty subtle. Hopefully you can't even see that it's there, but it is adding a little bit of shadow, a little bit of definition to my face um, so that it just brings it out a little bit more. I'm going to add the tiniest bit of blush. And that's only because I've really been enjoying this one. And I know if I put it on light enough, you're not even gonna see it. So this is the Whipped Dream Blush by Kaja. And I have mine in the color Rose Macaron. And I have really been enjoying this quite a bit. I have a video coming up where I do a full face of clean makeup. And you're probably gonna see this one in there. So again, I am not trying to really do a whole lot of makeup, but it's just a little bit of color, like a natural flush, right? A natural flush is what I'm going for. So it's bringing some color to my cheeks without looking like I'm wearing blush. Okay, next what I want to do is I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe. And technically, I don't know if this is the best for a no makeup look because it does do a bomb.com job of defining my brows, but I am kind of obsessed with it right now. <laughs> I kind of want to do a little bit of a deeper brow look because my brows are so light and I'm wearing so little makeup. I think this will help. It's going to do something to my face, that's for sure. So I'm going in very lightly with the dip brow. Just kind of filling in the, the spots. I have very thin brows. I've been trying a new brow growth. Serum. I will have to give you updates. Well, it's not new. I've tried it before and I actually did like it. So I'm hoping it'll work its magic on me again. Okay, so we have the brows. They're filled in, but they're not too defined, right? They still look pretty natural. I hope. <laughs> That's what we're going for. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with the Kosas Airbrow. This is in the color clear. This is what it looks like when you continuously use it on top of other products. It gets dirty. 
I think I've talked about it in the past, but this was, the packaging looks really cute. Uh, but for this product, I would say it was a bad idea. I'm seriously considering just tossing it because it looks so gross, but I do like it. I just, ugh, kind of looks like something's growing in it. It's not, it's just dirty, um, <laughs> but no one wants that, right? Okay, so one thing I am going to do to try to make my eyes pop just a little bit is I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay 24-7 uh, Glide On Eye Pencil in Corrupt. So it's a brown, and I'm going to go in, I'm going to put it, I'm going to flip my eyes and put it underneath my lashes. Okay, how to do that off camera? Because holding a mirror and trying to flip your eyelid and put on eyeliner was not working for me. But I think it really does kind of widen my eyes just a little bit, just enough to make a difference. And I am going to go in with the teeniest bit of mascara. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes. And this one, I just feel like it's not super intense. So I'm just going to do a couple little boop, boop. To just lengthen and give my lashes a little bit of color because Again, they are on the lighter side, so sometimes it looks like I don't have lashes. And last but not least, we need something on the lips. So I'm going to go with my Dior Addict Lip Glow because this is the lip item that I am determined to pan this year, and it's really good. And just put that all over. So it just gives a little bit of color and a little bit... Of shine okay what do we think this is the finished no makeup makeup look I think it looks good I think it looks really natural and again I feel like we did good not you know going overboard with anything so there's not too much blush there's not too much bronzer it's just enough to give your cheeks a little bit of color and definition and with the eyes it's the same thing so very very minimal but enough to really open up the eyes a bit so that you don't look like you just woke up uh, cause that's how I felt like I was looking. It's very pretty. It's definitely not something that I do a lot because your girl just likes her eyeshadow and liquid liner. <laughs> so it's hard for me not to use those. But overall, I think this was a success. I think this is perfect for the hot, hot weather and doing kind of a more classic American and Perry sort of look. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. I like that. Um, but yeah, what do we think? I'm a fan. Uh, I thought this would be just like a fun little video to film and I hope you enjoyed it as well. If there's any other sort of look that you want to see, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!